Uh, hello and welcome to hang on here in the sale regatta. Um, I just created this um, regatta and it's from Italia. Uh, I Uh, created for the first time I think in Italian a uh, track so um, um, and I want to test the how it was to sail in simulation mode so all uh, and now when and I sail this is manual so I have no automatic uh, and no wind arrows and uh, no pointers on the markings where I should turn to left or right. So I sail uh, as I sail in a real sailboat boat. and all things I d I'm doing I'm sailing from the skipper position at the steering wheel. So all sails and uh, I have to trim them manual. So like we are doing when we are sailing a real sailboat. Uh, and then I have to take a look at the radar and um, and even to uh, uh, at the sea card so I know where I shall turn and uh, have a good look in good time before I shall turn so I know exactly how to sail to that point. So let's then start the race. So I want to view this as I indicted. And, uh, and here you see the game has been starting. Uh, we are now uh, here in front of the start line. And we have three minutes to test the wind and find uh, what angle and what position I want to have over the start line. So um, I tested this and it's very, very difficult to say it in simulation. So um, I didn't know how to 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 come up to the start line uh, and uh, which, which point I should cross the start line and uh, I didn't know how to hold up to the wind to the first uh, markings where I should turn, turn around. So I had to start restart and uh, that was terrible, that was very very difficult because I, uh, I have forgot it because it was a very long time ago I, I uh, said like that in the most difficulty uh, you can sail here in Warta Skipper 5 when it's simulation but um, there is a boat as I have designed it, uh, a red boat, but there is no red sails. Uh, I tested some boats to create, because I like it very much, to um, design and uh, even so cre create um, new tracks. So I have um, set up this track. Uh, here in Italia, and uh, it's out there in the beach outside the town. Here, I don't really remember the name of the town, but um, it's on the west coast of Italia. Uh, now we have three minutes, and I think I'm sailing up here to the start line. And I didn't check uh, up how uh, they was coming. I uh, looked at the uh, time and I found I was too quick over the 
So I got the penalty then over the start line. Because that was the grid. So then I had to turn around and go back uh, and sail round the marking there you see. So I had to cross the start line again and of course I lose very very much because of this. But I think thought I should test the wind in the direction so I just let it go on. And um, I looked at the thing, I think it would be, be good to practice. So I set the Genoa, uh, I looked at the speed and found that I could find the speed over 12 knots. Or 11.5 or and close to top 12. So I th thought, okay, I will let it go, I will test the wind and the same. So, you see, I'm not so slow. And I found that uh, after some minutes, uh, I found that I was closing in. And I was not on the most late lost position um, and I, I know this if I am too close to the boats like they are now I maybe will get penalty because I will touch some other boat uh, as come to close to me so I used to hold out more and uh, you see here, here is close sailing and uh, we will take another look here from another camera and um, you will see from the higher position uh, how they touch each other and then they get penalty so here you see uh, they are turning but that was the first boat that was a I five has got penalty and have to turn around 360 degrees. Okay, and uh, we are looking now at next boat uh, they're coming up there, and uh, there is one boat that's closing in, and there is very tight, you see. And then one next A8. I2 touch. So there is two boats as has got penalty. And then I took my decision to hold on the right. Because here is two markings uh, as is we will come to. So we have two possible. And there was one more A5 has got penalty again and you see some of those that are going for the left side but um, I am up here now and uh, I think I was up in the fifth uh, or s uh, position or something six or, or Six, six, but there's nothing here. And now they turn um, out there to come to that uh, marking. But I didn't do it too quick, because I wanted to come more to the right. So I hold up there. And there you see, I follow that the Italian flag I don't think so there's the boat the German boat and uh, I think there's the Japanese boat there's two of my designed boat as he's coming here in toward the market uh, 
So who will be the quickest if my choose it on boats with the Swedish flag yeah. if my boats I even so design clothes on the crowd. Don't know the thing. Uh-huh. There was a I a a Scott penalty. And you see now I'm coming here on the last boat in that group. But I know this that they have got penalty and I know that I can go on inside line here. I used to do that. I used to try to do that. Uh, when I have space enough. Uh, when I know that many boots are fighting like that, I even so used to go out on outside. But now I took that decision because I quick found that I, it was possible to go on inside. And uh, now I had to trim this yen while I had forgot everything about this, how to trim it. But I tested and tested and tested there uh, where I could find, find the speed. And I found it. I found it and closing in to the boat in front. Uh, on my left side there, you see. So I was happy because I found that speed. And I could see that I am not... But I always tested all the time uh, 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 if I could find more speed. But uh, then I lost speed. Uh, so it's a little bit tricky to... Uh, but it's better to test and learn, not to only sit and be afraid to to check up. And you see, they are coming um, more on the another angle, and they got very high speed uh, on that side. So they maybe have uh, two knots or something high, higher speed. They will come in more to the left there, the blue side there. That was my, my boat, if I decided when the boat blue spin I can. And I called, uh, I called my team Sweden Wave, wave Wave racing elite. <laughs> I got. I gave them the the, the name uh, from many years ago when I started to disassemble own boats. And as you see, we are turning to the left. And now I was thinking about the same. Maybe I can come on each side and. You know, if I do that, I will take the wind for him, because the wind is coming from the left side. And if I can be able to come up just side by side with him, then I will steal the wind for him. And he will come in like, in like a wind shadow. And here you see, it's a penalty crushed to the marking there. So, um, but you see here, I'm up now. So now I'm s s coming up in higher speed than that boat is that Italian boat so I'm uh, passing him in. I had uh, maybe maybe 
two not small speed here around more than one knops all the time there so I to pass in and I'm closing in to the German boot there on first place and you see I've uh, set up boots around there and ships and they are moving some some of them and some of them is on the same position and you see the marking it's a long leg a very long leg here this so um, there if if you will uh, not can trim the sails uh, perfect so you lose some maybe in a half knot uh, it will be catastrophic in, <laughs> in such long uh, leg so it's very necessary to to check up and try to find but, but uh, because it's maybe some minutes I find oh where well, oh it's over 12 knots now uh, and then it go down to 10 knots uh, it depends on that the wind is shifting all the time but uh, I didn't want to uh, turn out to left or right to find the wind again because here was the count on the closest way to the point to come to the marking there with the best speed so when I counted on this I found that there's no idea to, to try to s uh, change direction or something uh, like I used to do in the beginning of the race here was a straight line for me as I wanted to hold and especially when I was behind this boat I could see that I closed into that boat more and more and more and now in this turn I'm up to him and if I can do a very good turn on the inside but he did a very tight turn so I could not go in there on the inside directly it was important because then I had crash train. So I tried to go here now. And hold up here on the inside. But there you see he he's on my outside and the wind is coming from that direction. So it's very easy to come in to in the, the wind shadow. So I hold out more to the left here. But that uh, was not so very good uh, because I found that uh, I, I could see the marking in front of me and I tried to hold on the right side but not too much so I hold a little bit to the left of it and, uh, I, I should not do that I should go closer to, to the boat on my right, the German boat there. Because um, I, I got higher speed and I passed them. So I was up here in the leading. But when I come closer and closer here, I found that I, I must turn a little bit more to the right. And I could, if I had done, done more, you see here, I'm up on the right now I must do and uh, he is closing in on me I'm up here now but he came up and he could pass me here just some uh, meter in front of the start uh, finish line he passed me so uh, I had no possible to, to come up in high speed uh, so I was <laughs> in the leading half uh, uh, of this uh, leg, but 
it was too late. And from this point, I will say bye bye, and uh, I wish you good wins, all of you. Bye bye.